Good morning. Welcome to Physics World. Today, we're going to discuss about a fascinating topic in physics. Everyone wants to know whether it is existing or not existing. So to get the clarification, let us start the topic. And the topic is motion. So it is topic two. No, it is the first concept relative. What is mean by relative? So before to understand what is mean by relative, let us take some example to know actually what is relative. Suppose two friends, one is Ram and this is the second friend is Shyam. Both are approaching a house. This is a house. So when Ram is approaching to the house and when you, when you ask Ram that in, on which side the house is there, then Ram says, Ram can say that it is towards his left side left. Now if you ask Shyam which direction the house exists, then Shyam says it is towards his right. Then who is correct here? According to Ram, the house is left side. According to Shyam, the house is right side. So here you couldn't decide that one is right and one is wrong because here the house location is relative. According to Ram and according to Shyam, the two answers are correct. So, location is relative. This is the first case. Now, take the second example. Suppose think that we are in Hyderabad. It is morning time. Morning time. At the same moment, if you, if somebody of your friend or relative are in New York, for him, it is night time. Then who is correct here? According to Hyderabad, the morning time is correct. Or according to New York, night time is correct. And the answer is both are correct. Because here, day and night are relative. Next, take another more example to get better understanding of this relative. Now, third one, I have given a stick to you. It's a stick one. And ask you to show that the stick is shorter. Then how do you show? Then you will keep another stick which is longer than the stick one. Then automatically the stick one become shorter. Now if you ask a question, if I ask a question that okay, show me stick one longer, then you keep another stick which is shorter than the stick one. Then stick one become longer. So according to stick one, stick two, stick one is shorter. According to stick one, stick three, the stick one is longer. So which answer is correct? Here both are correct because here height or you can say length is relative. So in nature everything is relative. 